Okay, so we'll go ahead now. I just wanted to get the record button going, but um, just a couple of quick tips for everybody. You are more than welcome to be muted. I get it. If you have background noise, that is great. If you don't have background noise and you don't want to mute yourself, that's fine too. A couple quick tips is if you're on your phone to unmute, you just find that little speaker, the little microphone icon. But if you're on a computer, I don't know if you know this, but on Zoom, if you're on your computer and you're on mute, you can just press the, um, the space bar and while you're holding it down, talk. And as soon as you release the space bar, that makes it go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, oh, look at, she's all excited. Isn't that cool? <laughs> See, what does it do? You can already, you can hang up. You've already learned something tonight. So you're I good. Know. I know. <laughs> I'm looking for a hotel right now. It's not good for work too. I didn't know that because we use it for work a lot of yeah. time. See? Now you have to go and tell all your friends, have a pamper chef party, and you never know what you're going to learn. So there you go. Yes. Um, but yeah, but I love that tip because we use Zoom at work all the time too. And um, of course, I always have myself muted because I probably am talking to somebody else or doing something I shouldn't be, right? Um, oops. Hello. Who's that? <laughs> My daughter. Hi. <laughs> that would be cute. She's adorable. Um, so anyway, so we're just going to dive in. This is not a lecture. This is a interaction. I want y'all to laugh, have fun, um, interject. If I'm talking about something and you love it, get on there and say, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing. So that's the only thing we don't have here today is kind of like the, the background, like all the noise piped in, the, and the crowd goes crazy. We need to have that like piped in now. Those are my two requests. That for Zoom and also smell a vision, right? Because I'm gonna make this wonderful meal and you guys can't even smell it. So the next is smell a vision. I even put on my best perfume for you guys tonight. <laughs> Can't you smell it? You know, I had to do something because I worked from home today. So there was uh, not a lot of prepping going on here. So, um, but anyway, but thank you all for coming. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off. Let me give my hands a quick wash. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, featuring probably our one of our most popular products, and that is going to be our pressure cooker. Pampered Chef, we call it a quick cooker. How many of you have an Instant Pot or one type of pressure cooker at home? Anybody? Yes, we got a couple people. Fantastic. Who here, anybody, if you are scared to use your pressure cooker or it's still in the box, unmute and say, woohoo! Nobody? That's impressive, y'all. You don't know how many people I've had come on parties and say, oh yeah, I have a pressure cooker. I got it for Christmas and it's not in the out of box. <laughs> and I'm like, why? And they're like, I'm afraid of it. I don't know how to use it. And I think what they're thinking of is like the old pressure cooker, like from before all of our time, maybe our parents' time when they had the pressure cooker, the manual one on the stove and that's where you see the pictures of people's kitchens exploding and stuff. And we don't have to worry about that because pressure cookers today are amazing. And so basically this is what our, this is our, um, we, something just fell. Uh, this is our quick cooker. Um, this is Pampered Chef's version of a pressure cooker. And um, the cool thing about Pampered Chef, y'all, is, and I love that I think it was Jennifer mentioned that her and her fiance or, or husband, somebody had, uh, maybe it was both. I don't know. Maybe it was her fiance or her husband. I don't know. Who had a party 10 years ago, Jennifer? That was me and my husband. We Our, both had. Um, oh, that's right. It was Danielle and her fiance. She said something about that. I knew it was something. Because you can have a fiance and you can have a husband, but just can't have them at the same time. I mean, you know, it's okay. Well, I mean, you you maybe can. <laughs> we will not. Call when I want to call him. This is a rated G show. It, only if we want it to be. So we will have this a rated G show. So none of that. Um, but anyway, but our... Um, there we go. Somebody had their thing on. Okay. So, um, but here's what Pamper Chef does. You know, we, we were talking that Jennifer had a party 10 years ago and she's like, oh, we still have a lot of our stuff. Y'all, I, I still have products literally from 25 years ago. They, they're, they still work. Um, does anybody here have one, a product from a long time ago that they're like, oh my gosh, it's still around? Who can name something they have that's like forever old? Anybody? Yeah, we've got a, uh, we've got a, is it a skillet? What is it? No, it's the pizza stand. 
Oh, our pizza stone. Well, okay, we had, so we had a wedding shower, a Pamper Chef wedding shower. That's the and best. And it was amazing. Yep. Yeah. We, had, well, we got a lot of stuff. And one of the things was we got um, our pizza stone. Some knives. And some knives. I mean, we, we use it all. It's, uh, we just celebrated 11 years. Congratulations. So, yeah, we have all of it. We have the choppy chop, that little choppy thing. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Yeah, we still have all of it. And then we've got the big, um, um, it's like a, it's like a skillet. That's not, it's a griddle. It's a griddle. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you touched on a couple of key things. Number one, if y'all know anybody getting married, I don't care how old they are, anyone getting married, let me tell you, a Pamper Chef bridal shower is the way to go. Um, there's a couple different ways you do it. Number one, we have just a registry now too. So someone can actually register just like they do at Crated Barrel or at Macy's. They register with Pampered Chef through my website and then their friends and family go on and purchase for them. And here's the really cool part. It adds up to benefits like a party too. So there's benefits to it as well. So, um, and there is nothing like starting your kitchen off with Pampered Chef items. Um, that's what I always say that, you know, when we, um, when we, when you get our cookware or our knives or anything like that, or nowadays we now have cast iron, Pepper Chef finally came out with cast iron. And when you guys have cast iron and all those lifetime guaranteed products in your kitchen, from the day you get married, you'll never have to throw anything away. You'll just be accumulating great stuff. So, um, because a lot of our products do have lifetime guarantees, including those big products I just mentioned. So, um, that's fantastic. And we also do bridal showers too. So maybe one day in, you know, like 2025, when we start getting together on social gatherings again, um, maybe then we could do in-person bridal showers. Um, but yeah, but our products last. And the reason why they last is what Paper Chef does is, you know, they take an ordinary product and make it extraordinary. That's what they do. I mean, here's an example. Does anybody have our scrapers? These scrapers here, they're a simple product. Okay, people are like, gosh, why would I spend $15? Or I don't even know how much they are. But why would I spend that? I can go to Walmart and get one for $3.99. Well, here's why. Because mine doesn't do this. It doesn't get all curled up and melted. It doesn't stain orange. The head doesn't come off. It, they're perfect. They just, and they last forever. Matter of fact, I have, look at me. I, my kids will probably run if they see me do this. I have um, one from when I started this business. Okay, and are you ready for this? I started this business a quarter of a century ago. Is that crazy? Wow. I started Pampered Chef 25 years ago um, this past July. Yeah, I was 10, <laughs> so thank you very much. They um, last a long time if you don't stick them in the blender while it's Yes, cleaning. thank you. Do not stick them in the blender. Yes. I do that all the time. Yes, <laughs> blender will get them. A food processor or anything like that, it'll get them every time. But anyway, we take an ordinary product, we make it extraordinary. Well, guess what? We did the same thing with a pressure cooker. Um, the uh, Instant Pot had been on the market for years, and everyone's saying, doesn't Pamper Chef have a pressure cooker? Not yet, not yet, not yet. That's all I had to keep saying was, not yet, because I kept hoping we're going to get a pressure cooker. Well, basically what they do is they took what everybody loved about their pressure cooker and put it into this and then what they hated about their pressure cooker they didn't do so you see what i'm saying like they take it all and so like one of the complaints was that matter of fact i see a, a famous youtuber i watch i watch a ton of youtube and um watch about pressure cookers and just recipes and stuff and this lady who has like a zillion followers on youtube goes to let the pressure out of her pressure cooker with a wooden spoon like this why does she do that does anybody know why she's standing away and doing that yeah, she's afraid that the steam coming out. Well, when you have one that's well made, like Pampered Chef, you'll see that this button right here, which is what releases the steam, and where this is are about five inches apart, four or five inches apart, and this piece here shoots the air away from you, okay? So you don't have to worry about it. So pretty darn cool. So we're going to go ahead and use this, but guys, this thing, I call it my one pot wonder. Um, this one has like 16 different functions. It literally goes from searing. So like you're on like a regular, like a stove top. We're going to use that in a sec. We have a steam function, a slow cook. So yes, you can use a quick cooker as a slow cooker. I haven't done that yet, but you can do it, but just like a crock pot. Um, and then it's got a proofing setting, okay? So if you love to do breads and you don't want to have a bread rise overnight, you can proof it in here in no time flat. 
chicken, poultry, beef, pork, seafood, uh, stock and soup, beans, stew, stew and chili, desserts, whole grains, brown rice, white rice, you name it, and all of them are preset. Don't you love that part? That's what I love is that they're preset, so there's no guesswork. But here's one thing that I love. Uh, I talked to a friend this weekend. I did not grow up in the South. I know that's hard to believe from my thick Southern accent, but um, I did not grow up cooking beans. We just didn't cook beans. Well, anybody here that cooks beans, you would love a pressure cooker because there's no soaking the beans overnight. Beans are done in two hours and there's no soaking them. So that is awesome in and of itself. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on to the sear function. And so I have to uh, see what I'm doing here. Let's see. All right, so I turned it one notch and this little blue button comes on here. It automatically sets to 20 minutes. That's just what the sear does, okay? So that means for 20 minutes, the burner is gonna turn on and we're not gonna use this lid. We're just gonna turn this on and use it as if we're working on the stove top. I'm gonna press the start button over here. It's gonna beep three times and it's gonna start to heat up. I'm gonna let that heat up for just a minute or two and then I'm gonna start with some of the chicken that we have we're gonna cut up. Um, the reason why this is so nice is that a lot of recipes call for, or you should brown your chicken a little bit or brown your meat before you cook it. It really, when you sear it on the outside, it just gives it such great flavor and this allows you to do it. Now, have any of you ever done this where maybe you have like a two pounds of chicken or something and you've maybe got a small saute pan or saucepan and you're trying to make chicken in it and it tells you to half the chicken and put half of it in at one time then take it out and then put the other half in. Does anybody know why they're telling you to do it in two different rounds? Anybody know why? Nobody. Okay, here's why. This is important too. If you throw all your chicken into a, into a say for example, you're using this skillet and you're throwing way too much chicken in here, it's gonna cause all that water, you know, from the chicken and it's gonna steam your chicken instead of giving it a chance to brown. That's why they'll say, brown your chicken half, you know, half and then take it out and do the other half. So it's actually an important step. Don't skip the brown it at half a time, okay? So we're gonna let this go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a teeny tiny bit of um, avocado oil. I love to cook with avocado oil. If you've never done that, it's uh, good for you. Um, and it's, it does have a high heat, so you can high heat cook with it, which is wonderful. I'm gonna lift this out. This, by the way, is the stainless steel bowl that comes with it. It's six quart, all right? And we're gonna go ahead, and I've already um, cut up a little bit of chicken uh, because I wanna show you this, but I, we're gonna do it in two parts. So I've already got here. This is in our stainless steel bowl set. This is such a fantastic set. This is, um, does anybody here have our glass batter bowl? You know, the eight, ba eight cup batter bowls, I see yeses going on. Those are things y'all, literally they've been around for more than 25 years because I've been with them 25 years. We've had them since before me. Would you believe that the large batter bowl, which is eight cups, hold on, my, I keep hitting my dishwasher on. Um, the eight cup batter bowl, would you believe this bowl is the same size? This is eight cups as well but this is the smallest of the three batter, uh, stainless steel bowls. Diane, did you say you have this set? Yes, I do, I love them. And what do you love about them? <laughs> I love the sizes and that you can cover them up, but I also love, love that they seem to be easier to wash. It sounds crazy, but the stainless steel seems to... Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know why, but when I'm watching them, I'm thinking about that. I'm like, yeah, they, they are fantastic. You've already mentioned one, the lids. They all, each of them come with a lid, ladies, and the lids are inset, which is so nice because you can then put this in the refrigerator without plastic wrap. You put the nice black hard lid on, and then you can put something on top of it. You can stack things, but all three of them nest together. So for example, actually, I just happened to have all three right here. But look at here, we've got eight cup, 16 cup, and 24 cup, all right? All of them come with great lids, and this is a set that, oh, and here's, here's an example of a lid. So you see they're in set here, and they've got a pour spout. So each of them have a pour spout. They've got a thumb hole. You ever done this dance where you're putting your bowl around here because you've got to hold it on your hip because there's no handle? This is a nice thing. This thing's got a great handle here for your thumb. And then it also has a, a silicone bottom. 
who here has a silicone? No, just kidding. We won't talk about silicone here, ladies. <laughs> no, no, no. But no, truly, these do, they've got the silicone bottom, which is so nice because it holds it nice and tight on your countertop, all right? But this is a fantastic set that literally will go down. You'll be writing it off in your will because it literally will last forever. Um, and frequently, my hostesses choose to get this at half price um, because it's just such a good half price item. So, all right, let's send you here the sizzle. All right, I put the chicken in there and I'm going to, I hear a dog, sorry. My husband's in the other room and I hear a dog at the door. All right, so we're gonna put half of the chicken in there so far. And let me grab the other piece of chicken. Now, I don't know about you, but I, um, somebody mentioned, who was it? I think it was Danielle that mentioned that they eat a lot of chicken at their house. I think a lot of us do, trying to be heart healthy and everything else. Um, and so, so do we, okay? I think a lot of people do. But here's the problem, okay? Does anybody else here hate big breasts? Look at these things. These are huge. Yes, they're huge. Yo, Cherie loves them. Yeah, look at that. Seriously, this is like one pound, y'all. One chicken breast is one pound. That's ridiculous. No one needs to eat this much, and you surely don't want to try to cook this because if the end is going to be done like dry and the center's, no. But here's what you do. You take your closing cut. Everybody loved this last week, didn't they, Diane? This was awesome. This thing is the best. Look at this. These things are like, they're um, springs in there, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to put the chicken in there. We're gonna just like scrunch it up in there, all right? We're gonna close it, and then we're gonna not use that hand. You guys, I don't know about you, but I use these plastic gloves in my kitchen all the time because I can't stand, like if I'm doing something, I'm busy in the kitchen, I just wanna be able to rip this off and go to the next thing. So um, these are fantastic, not Pamper Chef, these are Sam's. But look at here guys, this, um, this is a eight inch knife I think, and we're just gonna close this all the way. Whoops, get it back in there little cheeky chick. All right, we're gonna close this all the way, and then we're gonna slide the knife right in there. So you can see it's in there. We're gonna slide it over. Okay, y'all ready? Get excited. How uh, awesome is that? Come on, let me, oh, you guys have to unmute and no, you have to unmute and clap. Woo! What's it called? <laughs> yes, this is called the close and cut. So see, look at here, two pieces. Now, what did this do? Number one, it helped your cooking because you're now going to be able to um, cook them more evenly. Number two, what it did was it also doubled the amount of food you have because it's literally, there could be two servings or three or four. Does that go so, in the dishwasher? So Say again. Does it go in the dishwasher? It does. Thank you for asking. Yes, 100%. Matter of fact, watch this. I'm going to stick it in there right now. I literally open it up like this, and I, I stick it in just like this. It goes top rack of my dishwasher, done. No salmonella, nothing. What else Closing do you think cut. that you can think about cooking in there or cutting in there? Give me ideas. Think about, think outside the box. I don't know, but I will give y'all a funny. So I do cut my chicken, but I balance it on its side with trying to hold a fork. And then I try to take my sharpest knife and try to slip my chicken. So oh that my. right there will be like a lifesaver for me. Uh. Jennifer, we, we know what product needs to be on your order form, honey. Yes, yes. For sure. Yes, and how about grapes? How about putting a cup of cherry tomatoes? How about bagels? How about mozzarella balls? Anything, ladies, that needs to be cut in half. I also do pork because I buy these pork chops at Sam's Club, and I'm not kidding you. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're, I'm not kidding you. They're two and a half inches thick. They're stupid thick. Cut those in half, and they slide. All right, they're perfect, all right? So, yes, that's called a closing cut. And by the way, ladies, hold on. Let's tear this up a little bit. Smell a vision. Can y'all smell? I know. It smells good. All right. So plain old chicken. We're going to dump that out. We're going to get our, these are fantastic ladies. These little things, 
These are great for, looks like, it looks like a shark, shark week. These are great for um, kids too, because the oven mitts, I love our oven mitts, the silicone oven mitts, but a kid, this would go up to their shoulder, right? So these are great for us. These are inside have cotton, all right? But these are great for getting little things out. And I'm gonna show you in a minute with our air fryer, how nice these are because they've got this grippy stuff in there, all right? And they're just, they're great, but they're all silicone. So you can throw them into hot soapy water and wash them up. But I'm gonna take this out. Of course, I need to have this. And I'm gonna throw this chicken. Sorry, I forgot to get my little extra bowl out. I'm gonna get the smaller of the uh, bowls out there. That's the smaller batter bowl. And I'm just gonna dump this chicken in there real fast. All right, because we're gonna do this in two batches. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in this chicken we just diced up. And I just diced it up, ladies, into little like one inch cubes, maybe a little bit less. All right, but I'm gonna show you my secret sauce. This, by the way, is my favorite thing in the world, the flexible cutting mats. Anybody have those? They come in sets of three, ladies. They are fantastic because now look, I just cut meat on here. Blue is meat for me. I always cut my meat on a blue one and I know that I'm not gonna cross contaminate. So now I'm done. This can go right into my dishwasher and I don't have to worry about cross contamination. Then I can bring out my red one or my orange one. So there's great things. There's three different sizes, two different sizes, each come in sets of three. That was the larger one, and here's a smaller one. Flexible. Do they stay flat, or do they, like, curve in the dishwasher? They, I know, great I question. Some. These stay flat. Okay, because I do great have some question. that I've got from Walmart, and they do. They curl up real bad. Yes, and I will tell you why. Not why, but I will tell you this, too, is um, these are meant for cutting, not chopping. Okay, so just a couple quick tips. You don't want to use your, your chopper on them. This is for cutting and they're going to get marks on them and that's okay. The marks on them, something's got to give when you have a knife and it's okay if it's your cutting board. If you're using a glass cutting board, it's what's going to give is the knife blade and you don't want that. So you want a cutting board that's going to, you're going to end up with marks and that's okay. And here, listen, you can kind of hear my nail scraping. That's okay. That's actually because, because you need something to give and you don't want your knife blade to give, all right? Which by the way, ladies, I will send to each of you, um, hopefully all of you are on that Facebook group. Um, uh, the Facebook group is, I don't know if everybody is, but y'all, I will have a list of the products that I have used here tonight so that you don't have to worry about trying to remember what I'm talking about, all right? Okay, so I put a pit, tiny bit of avocado oil in the chicken and then I'm gonna show you my secret sauce. You guys, if you don't get anything else tonight, you must spend $8 and get this product. It has become my secret weapon in the kitchen. It is Paper Chef Seasoning Salt. It's a brand new product. And if I ever knew that a seasoning salt could change my life, I would have invented it, but I didn't know it. This seasoning salt is truly, I, I can't even tell you. All I did the other day, ladies, was I took broccoli uh, fresh broccoli. I put it into a bowl like this, a little bit of avocado oil, and I threw it in. Oh, and then I added some seasoning salt. I threw it into the air fryer, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Threw it into the air fryer. 10 minutes is what I air fried our broccoli for. And my 23 year old was like, mom, what is on this broccoli? I was like, why do you like it? He's like, it's fantastic. It was seasoning salt. That's it. I now put it in burgers yesterday. I put it on in and on everything. Um, I promise you, you will love me and hate me. You'll love me because it's so good. You'll hate me because you're gonna have to order a bunch of bottles. You will fall in love. So that's seasoning. By the way, anybody that's gluten-free, um, anybody who's gluten-free, all of our seasonings are gluten-free guys, certified gluten-free, okay? So that's really important. We were so excited that they took the, the steps necessary to make sure because um, I guess there's a whole shenanigans you have to go through to be able to be certified gluten-free. But um, all of our seasonings are, and tonight we're using that seasoning salt, and I'm also using the garlic rub, okay? Um, what else is my favorite? They're pretty much all my favorite, all of our seasonings. Um, the dill is out of this world. 
because it's a dill mix. It doesn't just have dill, it has a bunch of other great flavors in it. Um, and so you just mix it up with um, some mayo and sour cream and you've got this dill dip with carrots that people are like, oh, I need your recipe. And you're like, sure, <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Call Nancy, get some paper chef dill mix, cause that's it. Um, I use that a lot on my salmon too. Um, gosh, we use that for everything, but yeah, the, all the seasonings. Does anybody have a seasoning that they've used and loved before? Anybody have one? Nobody yet? Yeah, y'all need to try the seasoning. They're pretty amazing. All right, any questions so far? Nobody? Bueller? Bueller? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so um, remember, this is the smallest one of the three, and we're just going to stick this, and it goes right in the dishwasher. And yes, it's so easy, you can hand wash it, but when I'm at my own house, I'm just going to stick it right in there. All right, so we got our chicken done. We're finishing up with the other half of the chicken, and you'll see we just got it a little bit brown. Oh, how well you can see that but we just wanted it brown. It's not cooked all the way through by any means, but this sear is so nice. This is one of my favorite aspects of it. Um, what else was I gonna mention about that? I think we're pretty good there. But yes, but the pressure cooker ladies comes with this amazing cookbook. Look at this. The pressure cooker comes with this cooking guide. All right, it is, uh, it's 40 pages long. It's like a little, like a season's best cookbook almost. But the best part about it is this takes all of the guesswork out of the pressure cooker. Um, one of the things I did last week, actually at Teresa's party, I made chicken fajitas or a salsa chicken. And um, literally all I did was throw chicken breasts in there, a jar of salsa, some bell pepper and onions and put the lid on and that was it. And Teresa told me that her and Don, like Don was going nutso over. Did Teresa ever hop on? Doesn't look like it. Um, she oh, said that okay. Chief Donnie's um, But yes, did you hear from her? Yes, she said the Chief Donnie's horse is not walking. But she's Hold on, I'm having trouble here. What was that? What'd you say, Diane? I said she said that Chief Donnie's horse was not walking and they were dealing with that, but she was planning on hopping on. I gotcha. I gotcha. But, um, hey, let me um, do one thing real fast here. Hey, Sean. Okay, sorry, trying to mute myself because the dog is like gonna rip down the door from outside if my husband doesn't come get her soon. All right, so anyway, but this is one of the first three recipes of salsa chicken that they tell you to start with because they want to give you something that's simple so that you get so used to and love your quick cooker. The other thing, the first thing actually they have on here is best beans is what it's called. Best beans without soaking. All right, so it gives you that recipe. Then easy to peel hard boiled eggs. Do y'all know what those are? Easy to peel ones. Most people don't know what those are. They're always hard to peel. The pressure cooker, you can do like a dozen and a half at least of, of, uh, of the uh, eggs in here and they're fantastic hard boiled, okay? Um, and then the simple salsa chicken, but check this out too. It also then goes into, come around here. It also goes into all your vegetables, every kind of vegetable you could ever think of all of your meat and poultry, I think I skipped a page, all your beans and legumes, grains and rice, it literally shows you every way to cook it. So for example, I used this twice the other day within a few hours of each other. I do a big thing of steel cut oats so that it cooks and it lasts throughout the whole week, right? Steel cut oats usually takes a little bit longer than quick oats. I put two cups of steel cut oats, five cups of water, put the lid on, and I set it for four minutes, four minutes. And I then let it naturally release and my still cuts are done. I did that, I put that into a glass container and then my husband is um, doing an elimination diet, this kind of diet to figure out what your food sensitivities are. So he can have sweet potatoes. And so I literally, I had three sweet potatoes. Those suckers were big. I put the tray in the bottom. It comes with a little tray like this comes with this. I put this into the bottom of the quick cooker. I put a cup of water into the bottom and I put as many of those laying down as I could of the sweet potatoes. I put it in there, 
turned it, put it in there, I think 20 minutes, and my sweet potatoes were falling apart. The best, okay? No waiting for your water or boil, and I mean, nothing. It was that easy. So um, this recipe is also gonna give you an idea of how easy. All right, so who can do what I've done so far? Everybody can do this so far? You got chicken, you can do it? Oh, I see heads and nod. Everybody can do this so far. We're gonna pop the rest of this chicken in there, all right? You know what? I'm just gonna stick everything in the dishwasher as I go. That's smart. Aha. All right, ready for this? We're now going to put a jar of spaghetti sauce. Everybody has a jar of spaghetti sauce hanging in your pantry. You should, at least. Put a jar of spaghetti sauce. All right, we're gonna put two cups of pasta. Look at, pasta is not cooked. We're just gonna throw pasta in there. All right, by the way, this was our, um, these are the best. Does anybody have these? These are the best. They are the um, Easy Read measuring cups and they come in a set of three. There's a four cup, a two cup, and a one cup. And the best part about them is that they measure, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. The measurements are on the inside there. And so when I am pouring, for example, some chicken broth in there, and we're gonna do a cup of chicken broth, that's it. All right, when I'm doing chicken broth, it's measuring from this side. So I'm gonna do a cup, there we go, do a cup. As opposed to pouring it in there and then doing your calisthenics, trying to see you know, if it's even and you don't have to worry about that. It literally measures up, and so you're able to see that's exactly a cup. It's got a silicone handle to it, and the best part about that is that when you go ahead and you throw your, um, say you put a, a cup of water in here, um, or a cup of milk or something, a cup of water, and you want to bring it to a boil, you can put this in the microwave and bring it to a boil. Now, with your Pyrex glass, if you bring something to a boil, what are you going to need? something to get it out, right? Yeah, you're, oh, look at you too, I love it. Yes, you're gonna need Mr. Shark. <laughs> you ladies are awesome. Yeah, you're gonna need a shark because it'll be too hot. The silicone stays nice and cool, cool, all right? So you don't have to worry about that. So I love it. And it was so popular that it had a baby. And oh, and I spilled the baby, hold tight. Spilled it, spilled it. Whoopsie, hold on. Had a little, uh, little spillage over here. All right. It had a little baby. And this is a quarter cup. And that is three tablespoons. It's four total, but this is three oh, tablespoons. Oh, how cute. Isn't it adorable? It was so cute. It had a little baby. All right. <laughs> I love those things. All right. Um, so that was our garlic herb seasoning. All right. So putting all that in there, I feel like I'm missing something. Let's look at the recipe. By the way, this chicken Parmesan pasta is right in your cookbook. All right. So we've got uh, your chicken, garlic and herb rub, your tomato sauce, your penne, your, that's it, ladies. That's all we're going to put in here. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a stir to get that seasoning in there. All right. Cherie, how long does it take for water to boil on your stovetop when you're going to do pasta? How long do you have to wait? 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Anybody a else? While. It takes a while. Have any of you ever done it and then walked away and came back to a dry pot? Because you let it go too long. <laughs> okay. This is going to be done before you can even boil water. All right. So I turned it off. I've set it off here. Cancel everything. All right. Now I'm gonna turn this to, I think it's just a chicken. Let me just check, because every recipe, I can't see anything. Return the chicken, lock the lid. Oh, five minutes, sorry, custom five minutes. So we're gonna do a custom button. So we're not gonna follow the, uh, the poultry one. We're gonna do custom and it automatically defaults to 30 minutes. We're gonna put that 30, oh, we gotta do time. It's hard to see from here. And we're gonna put this all the way down to five minutes. All right, and then we're gonna press the start button. Now here's a cool thing about a pressure cooker, a couple things. Number one, you have to have at least a cup of liquid. That's how it, that's how it comes to pressure. Your salsa can be considered a, a liquid. Your tomato sauce, I mean, any of that, that can be a liquid, but there has to be liquid. That's why I said when I did the potatoes, sweet potatoes, in the bottom, I did um, a cup of water in there. I also have done an entire pot of cut up sweet potatoes. 
all right? And then put a cup of orange juice in there. But I don't use, I don't use that little tray thing. I'm talking, I literally just fill the pot with the sweet potatoes, put a cup of orange juice in there as it, and then I have mashed sweet potatoes in, I don't even remember how long it took. But, um, but yeah, so really cool, but you've got to have your liquid. Second thing is that you need to make sure that this pressure release button that I showed you that you press up and down is flat with the surface because that means that it's sealed. And there's a little steam cloud on both the pressure cooker release button and where the steam comes out. And you just have to make sure those steam clouds line up. That means that it is ready to go. If you have this pressure button down, that, that's releasing pressure. So this would never come to pressure. So just make sure it's flush, all right? So at this point, you see, probably can see there's a little rectangle and it's going around and around. And what that means is that the pressure cooking is building up the pressure. I will start to hear this bubbling in a couple minutes, all right? As soon as it comes to pressure, you're gonna know it because there's a little red button over here that pops and that red button's gonna be up. It is impossible to open the pressure cooker. It can't happen, it is locked for our safety, all right? Once it comes to pressure, at that point, this timer will count down five minutes. So all of a sudden you'll see that this will switch to five minutes. That's when your cook time starts. So it's the time to get to pressure, minus five minutes, and then you're all done, all right? So we're gonna let this, oh, I forgot to add the secret ingredient. I have two secret ingredients. Dang, I'll tell you about it, but I forgot to add it. Oh, Diane, you guys are gonna get out with a little less protein. I was trying to beef you guys up and beef Ricky up for that surgery, dang. All right, so any questions about the pressure cooker and then we'll keep going. Anybody else? All right, there are a ton of accessories for this. There's a bunt cake insert. There's a cheesecake insert. There is a dev, uh, hard boiled egg insert. There um, is a, a fantastic ceramic bowl so that you can do your chicken in the bottom and your rice on the top all at the same time they come out. Um, it, it's phenomenal. In this, actually Diane, this month for September and for next month, ladies, for hostesses, you can get this, the set, it's a big set for like $111. So you can get it so nice and cheap. So that's why it's so cool to host your own party because you can get whatever the host special is that month, this month and next month, you get to choose any product or any um, set in the catalog at 60% off. That's my kind of shopping. I don't know about you, but yes, exactly. Um, and I know you ladies out there have already told me y'all have had parties before. You know how this works. Pampered Chef takes care of you. They, I will say that of you know 25 years in the business, I've seen every type of direct selling party. I think there is known to mankind. And I've even had every other consultant from other companies go, we can't touch Pampered Chef's benefits. They are fantastic. So if you get excited over a 30% Kohl's coupon, then ladies, you better get excited about Pampered Chef because we give you even better discounts than 30%. We give you that and then more. So um, I can already hear it. So when you get right. the pressure cooker, the is that separate from all the, the bundle of stuff? If you so, yes. so the pressure cooker, there's um, different sets that you can get. So for example, um, and I will find my glasses so I can actually see what I'm telling you. So like, for example, every month of the year, you can get up to five half price items. Okay. As a hostess, that's every month of the year. That doesn't matter what I'm month. Sorry. Hi, honey. She's telling Don to shush. <laughs> Well, hey, I'm so sorry, Diane Campbell. I'm so sorry. I have a horse emergency. I yeah, think yeah. I got to take him to the hospital right now. Oh, is it your horse, Teresa? No, it's Chief. It's Chief, and he can't walk, and that's why I called Diane. But I, go ahead with your meeting. Love you. Love you. Prayers. Dang, it's been a week with her with her horses. Last week was her horse, but anyway. Um, okay, so every month of the year, you can get up to five things at half off with the catalog, all right? So one of the sets is a complete quick cooker set that has, I think it's like 12 different things in it. It's every single accessory with the quick cooker, and you can get that at half off, and that's like $230 for that. Or you can get just, for example, this for, I think it's this and one other part, and you get that as a bundle, you can choose in some months, which is October and September, to get it at 60% off. 
So there's all different ways to get the products, um, but usually at the very minimum, you can get our products at 50 off, but just for the next two months, you can get any set or product at 60% off one of them. Does that make sense? All right. Um, and so like, for example, the air fryer, y'all, anybody else who has an air fryer? I am just jumping on the air fryer train. Okay. I can't wait to get mine. Yay! Ladies, the air fryer is a game changer in my kitchen. I had no idea why I even, I'm like, I don't fry food. I don't need an air fryer. <laughs> That's like the opposite of what, like, you don't even need to worry about, like, I don't do French fries. My kids do French fries. But let me just tell you, the air fryer truly changed everything in my kitchen. And here's why. If you are cooking, especially, like if a lot of you are cooking for just like one, two or three people, that my son the other night, cause it's just uh, my 23 year old son is back home. He got a full-time job in Nashville. So he's living at home while he's saving some money. So it's just the three of us right now. And the other night he comes in, he goes, mom, he goes, when's the last time you turned on the big oven? I was like, don't know right now. It holds stoneware and cast iron. <laughs> because I haven't had to turn it on because of the air fryer. The other night I did a pork tenderloin. Ladies, I got a beautiful pork tenderloin from Sam's. I put some avocado oil and a, and a rub on there, put it in the air fryer for 20 minutes, turned it on, walked away, took it out. While that was resting, you know, you always let your meat rest when it comes out of the oven. While that was resting, I put that broccoli in there with the seasoned salt put the broccoli in there for 10 minutes. I did my entire meal in the air fryer and never turned on an oven. It's crazy. It also replaced our um, toaster oven. Um, it's a rotisserie, we have skewers, it's crazy. And the air fryer, which I think this is how Teresa got it. Um, you can get the air fryer this month or next month when you host a party for $111. That's crazy. That is a fantastic price for a phenomenal air fryer. So, and ours is a big one, ladies. Ours is, um, let me see if you can see this. Let me try to move it over here. And y'all, there you go. So this is our air fryer. And what's nice is that there are trays in there. So you can fit three trays of food as opposed to a basket. A lot of air fryers just have a basket and you just pile the food on it. These each have three. They have three trays that you can fit in there. So, awesome. All right, um, let's go ahead and keep going. Any questions, guys? No questions? Put in that pot. What, sweetie? I said, what else was you gonna put in that pot? Oh, oh yeah, duh. So, um, Pampered Chef, you know, we're always trying to enrich mealtime, that's, Figuratively and literally. So figuratively, we're enriching it by getting people to actually sit down to dinner together. So that's always good. But now we're going to do it literally. And Pampered Chef has come out with something called Enrichables. And actually, watch this. I am going to, right now, we're going to take like a little commercial break. And I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm going to show you the guest special. Um, and then I'm going to show you a little bit about Enrichables. So hold tight and listen while I share this with you. And you guys are gonna love it. So we're gonna start with, okay, you guys see my screen, the Paper Chef get a gift? All right, so here is the um, guest special for the month. Let me get here. Whoops, there we go. So your free gift with $80 purchase this month is you get to choose from one of these three products, the adjustable measuring spoon set, the, whoopsie, I went too fast. The uh, stainless steel mini whipper or the measuring spoon set. And I'll show you the differences between those two measuring spoon sets in one second, okay? But that's your free gift this month. Now here are enrichables. And basically what enrich enrichables do is they give you extra kale and fiber or pea protein into your food. So you can sneak it in there and no one will ever no, I'm talking put it in brownies. I'm talking put it in sauces, in smoothies, in whatever. And you will never ever know that there's anything in there. And it's giving you added pure protein. It's so cool. So watch this. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, so I guess, hold tight. I'm messing up here. All right. Hold tight, hold tight. 
Okay. So yes, so back to the pea protein. So you can buy it as a, as a bag, okay? So you can buy it is, um, in a smaller medium bag and it comes with a little scoop and it's just a fine powder. Or you can also do a subscription so that you just consistently use it at every single meal, adding some more protein because none of us get enough protein. Um, I know Danielle is not doing her watching every single meal to make sure she gets the protein. So I know at least she does. And I know we all need some extra protein. Um, and kale and fiber too. So anyway, it's a really cool thing guys. And, um, and it's, again, you don't taste any difference. So brownies are no longer sinful. Can I get a woohoo for that? <laughs> All right. Thank you. I heard a little snuffle, a little chuckle and a little woo. All right. <laughs> the other thing guys that Pampered Chef just started and y'all are the first ones to hear about this. This is brand new. If you've ever said, oh my gosh, what's for dinner? I'm so tired of making the exact same thing for dinner every single day. We had a lot of people asking for a subscription service. And so we have come out now with taste buds. Three surprise seasonings. Look, at, I love this little thing there. Before taste buds and after. So let me show you now. This is a one minute video that will give you an idea of what taste buds is all about. Delivered to your door each month. It takes just a second for it to queue up. Okay, how cool is that, ladies? So instead of having to commit to getting an entire bottle of something that you're not sure if you're really gonna love it or not, Taste Buds will deliver to you three different seasonings with meal ideas every month. And it's a subscription service and you can cancel anytime and there's no, like, it is the most awesome, um, no commitment type of deal there. So that's also brand new. Can I get a woohoo or any excitement for that? Cause that's pretty stinking cool. Woohoo! All right, what else we got? All right, we're gonna skip to that in one sec. We're gonna go back and um, any questions about those? Any questions? Pretty awesome. But anyway, pea protein is what you were getting and you're not gonna get pea protein. And I hate peas. Hello, yay! Hi bud, good to see Ooh. you. Good to see you. Um, but I hate peas and I still put pea protein and stuff and I don't taste it, so it's good. So anyway, all right, let's finish up with um, just a couple other things. Let's see, did anybody look? Oh, did y'all see? It's already counted down. So it already went from one, now it's or five, now it's at one minute. So it's already come to pressure and cooked for four minutes. Now, right now, Cherie, is when your water just got boiling and you're gonna put your pasta in <laughs> and then we still have to go and stir and check. It just beeped three times, ladies. It's now at zero. That means it is done cooking. Now there's two different things that happen with a pressure cooker. You either naturally release the pressure or you manually release it, okay? Naturally release means you don't touch a thing and you just let it go for about 10 minutes and the, the pressure is gonna automatically release itself, okay? In that case, at the end of 10 minutes, you press the button to make sure there's nothing left and you open it. For this case, for this recipe, I am 99% sure it says that we're going to um, manually release it. Let's see here. Yeah, press the stream, release, um, manually release the pressure. So watch this, all right? Press the button, button's here, four inches back is where the steam's coming out. So I'm not, I'll stand right here while it's going. And it shoots away from you, all right? No one's, no kitchens are blowing up, no children are getting hurt. And my red button is still up because there's still pressure in there. And as soon as that red button goes down and this stops 
We're releasing steam, you know you're good to go. All right, all we're gonna do to this recipe now is we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese because everything needs cheese. Diane, are you guys good with cheese? Thumbs up for cheese? Awesome, if it says one cup, how many cups do you put in? Yes, if it says one cup of chocolate in your recipe, how much do you put in? Yes, you guys are smart. Smart, smart. Lots of pea protein so we don't have any guilt with those brownies. Five cups of that. All right, so look at here. The button's gone down. I'm going to press my little steam release button so it's smooth again. I'm going to turn halfway. You hear that? Kind of does a little R2-D2. Look at that. Y'all can see all that steam. Crazy. I'm now going to show you that we now have a perfectly, let me see if I can just get a scooper so y'all can see. Let's get a ladle so y'all can see this beautiful meal all done in one pot, ready to go. I don't know about you, but I can do that. That's easy. Yeah. Yay! So that's as simple as it is. We're going to go ahead and grate some cheese. And um, I don't know about you, but I love me some cheese, but I don't love grating my fingers and I don't care for already shredded cheese because it's, it doesn't melt as well. Do you ever notice that? It's because it's got that coating on it so it doesn't mold, okay? It's got an extra coating. It's a preservative. They have to put that in shredded cheese so it won't get all you know, coagulated, whatever. That's a weird word for that. But anyway, um, but regular cheese, if you grate it yourself, it's going to grate so much better. And so we're gonna use our cheese grater. This is the fine one. Uh, let's see, if I take the top off. This is a fine one. So that's for your hard cheeses, like your Parmesan. And then we've got a coarse grater. And the coarse grater is for your softer cheeses, all right? And so I said we're not going to cut our fingers, and then I realized that I don't remember. Oh, I bet it got put away somewhere. Oh, y'all. Okay. Faux pas. I don't know where it is. That's crazy. I wonder if it's in there. Okay, I don't know where it is. This is I'm pampered, not perfect chef, right? I'm not the perfect chef. I'm just a pampered chef. But you slide this food holder on here so that literally when you go down, you are not taking a chance of scraping your fingers with it, okay? And it is super duper important, and I can't believe I'm not seeing it here. I'm going to take one more quick look. That's so weird. Anybody know where it is? I bet one of my kids knows. That's so strange. Why you look? What's that? Hey. Last place you look. I know. I'm looking one more place. It's, it's this. What is? Yes, thank you. Yes, it's so important. And I don't it's see it. It's, All right. it's this thing. <laughs> thank you. Yay. Yes. And so literally that slides on here and you will end up with a big old pile of Parmesan cheese. These are the best things. Thank you so much, Angela. These also open like this, so you can have it like a restaurant style, all right? It's flat, so see it stores flat like that. You then push and you can close it all the way, or you can have it like this, so easy peasy. So anyway, but we're gonna grate some cheese, throw it in there, and then I'm gonna put it into a nice little to-go thing, and I'm gonna bring it to work for our awesome Diane and Ricky to enjoy on a really crazy week for them. So anyway, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me finish up with a couple other housekeeping items and then we're going to finish up here. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen one more time so y'all can see a couple other things. So hang with me for about five more minutes and we'll be all set. So first thing is the roundup from the heart. Remember this from years and years ago, we give money Every time you purchase a particular product, Pamper Chef gives 10 meals to Feeding America. And the coolest part is that it stays in the county where the party is. So this is our newest set and I have these in person, but this awesome wooden handle silicone set um, is now uh, our, our product for our Roundup from the Heart series. So when you purchase this set, Pamper Chef donates 10 meals. So pretty darn awesome. All right, 
Okay. Click. There we go. Um, you can also round up your order at the end. You'll see when you go to checkout that you can um, round up your order like they did at Publix yesterday. She's like, would you like to round up 38 cents? Of course I will. Um, and that's the same thing. Whether it's a penny or 99 cents, you can round up your order and all of that money goes towards Feeding America. Um, as we talked about this month, um, the cool thing about hosting a party, ladies, number one, none of you had to get dressed. I'm so glad you have clothes on. But none of you had to get dressed. You didn't have to put makeup on. I did, I told you, I did put perfume on for you ladies. I hope you enjoy that part. Uh, but you don't have to do anything. You don't have to clean your bathroom. You don't do nothing. And, um, and you get to have a party and see your friends and we have a blast. This month, we could do it tomorrow night, quite frankly, because you've got a different set of group, a group of friends. They all log on. There's no prep involved. So you don't have to wait like, oh, a couple weeks to have a party. You can have a party whenever you want to. And so September host deals don't get much better because you get to choose that 60% off your choice of any one item. So that is pretty awesome. All right. Next thing is October. October, we're going to have um, a similar thing, uh, which is your 60% off your one product. And we actually have a couple new products coming out October 1st. So we had 35 new products just come out last week, including brand new stoneware line. So go online and check that out. Um, what else? I mean, we had some awesome things. Go into the new category online and you'll be amazed. But um, I want you to be thinking about what would you choose at 60% off? Would it be cookware? Because yes, you can get our cookware, whether it's a piece or a set, get that at 60 off. Of course, our awesome pressure cooker. You can get our cooking blender. For those of you that haven't seen the cooking blender, we can do this at your party if you'd like. I would love to show you how to make peanut butter in two minutes. I think it's 2.30, two minutes and 30 seconds, okay? Peanut butter made with one ingredient and that's it peanuts and it turns into peanut butter in two minutes and 30 seconds unbelievable um, but our blender actually cooks too it has a burner in it so you actually heat it while you're cook you cook it while it's actually going so you can make butternut squash soup with raw butternuts in there butternut squash mm. pretty amazing uh or stoneware of course or of course the magical air fryer which you see here, it also dehydrates, so pretty. What's that? Thought she was talking to me. So you'll see here, there is just a quick glimpse of all the benefits that you get from free products to half price items to a 10 or 30% discount on the entire rest of your order. That is an every month thing, ladies. It is second to none, and I would love to do a party with you. Diane, I've got a challenge for you and your friends. When three of your friends schedule and hold a party, okay, you get a, an extra $50 credit to use next time you purchase any Pepper Chef products, okay? You also get to choose a product at their party at 40% off, all right? So pretty awesome thing. Three friends, you get an extra 50 bucks, and it's just hanging in an account waiting for you to use it. And you also get a great um, discount at a product at their party. All right. Any questions about that, ladies? Whoop, whoop. Little, little excitement. Come on, I want to hear you. Woohoo! All right, you guys are awesome. One last one minute video, so hang with me. And this is what I would have never even thought about 25 years ago that I'd still be here 25 years later. But what I didn't know was all the things you're about to see in about 54 seconds. This is absolutely amazing. But it might be something y'all want to consider. And it's still rolling. There we go. It'll come. It just takes a second. Come on. Oh, do you see the protein? She just probed protein in that smoothie.
Awesome. You guys, I literally started Pampered Chef when I was 25 years old, had no children, and I did not cook. I had no idea what the next 25 years would bring me. And I've been through every season. Y'all know what 25 years brings. It brings children, it brings moves, it brings sickness, it brings health. It brought adoption for us, it brought everything. But it also brought about nine premier trips, Australia, Vienna, Austria, I, I mean, not Australia, Vienna, Austria, and Alaska, and Spain, and all this stuff, all with Pampered Chef. Now I'm in a different season. And now I just do it a couple nights a week. I'm doing things virtually now for my own kitchen, never even leave my, leave my house. Um, but if you're just, you know, and so now even an extra couple hundred bucks a month can make a big difference for a lot of people's budget. So if this is ever something you've ever considered, let me know. Um, and I would love to help you get started. So, um, but with that note, um, I would love to hear from everybody um, what the favorite thing that you saw tonight was. Who wants to start us off? Can we start with, should I choose people? Diane, you choose people because they'll love you. You're muted. Uh, All right. I really like the pressure canner or pressure cooker. Awesome, yes. I do, have, I do have a quick question. How would you do a roast? Would you just do it the same way? Just put some liquid in it and then drop the roast down in it? You got it. You got it. And there's a maximum, like there's a line so you know how much you can put in there. So like when I do chili, or I'm like, I do a lot of chilies in here and the chili would normally would take hours on the stove to maybe have the flavors blend and stuff. In the pressure cooker, it's like just, it's just like so fast. Um, but it gives you a line in there so you, because it has to have extra room for the air to be able to have the pressure in there. But yes, but it comes with fantastic directions. And the best part is it comes with me because you can ask me questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? Angela. Uh, I like, we have a pressure cooker. I really do like that, but awesome. we have it ready. Yeah. Um, and I like the, the thing that you cut the chicken with because mm -hmm. I feel like I could put a whole bunch of grapes in that and cut them in half. Yes, you can. It's so, about a cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a little one that we have to cut everything for. <laughs> so that would be nice. It is nice. That's awesome. Awesome. Who else? Linda. Hey. You. Hi. Me. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, I like that uh, pressure, I mean, that uh, air fryer. Because yes. I've never seen one like that. I've got a small the one that looks like an egg yeah. that I use. It's just me, so I don't need nothing great big. Yep. yep. But that, that is interesting. Yes, it's so nice. Whether you're cooking for one person or you can do an entire family for this because there's the different trays. Like people will put, um, they'll even use the, there's a tray on the bottom that's a solid. It's the catch, like the catch pan. Um, for, you know, if things drip any grease or something, but you can actually put your, your cut up potatoes on the bottom there and then do the skewers because we have a skewer thing and all the little, you can put your chicken and your pineapple and your onion or mushrooms or whatever on the skewers and it rotates or a rotisserie chicken and you can put your potatoes on the bottom. Um, so there's, there's so much you can do for it, whether it's one person or it's a bunch of people, it's, it's a really great thing. So awesome. Thank you. All right. Who's next? Right. <laughs> what are you doing? Slice and cut. She's got a list. <laughs> Slice and cut, cutting mat, season salt. <laughs> yes. All good stuff. I promise you, ladies, if you don't like your seasoning salt, I will buy it back from you. It's that good. I promise you. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome. Who else do we have left? We've got Debbie, Cherry, and Wanda. All right, one of you ladies speak up. Forever hold your peace. Debbie? Mine isn't really a product. I like spices. Yes. Oh, I yeah. Put on just a chicken breast or something. And I do have something that's bell peppers, a bell pepper spice. Uh-huh. I do have that. Yeah, the bell pepper uh, rub. Yes, very, yeah. very 
fun. Yes, our spices are fantastic and they're very concentrated, like the rubs, a little bit goes a long way. Um, they're, yeah, they're fantastic. And that's why I love that Tasty Bites, to be able to have it sent like a, a trial of them basically every month. Right. Also, I think is pretty cool. I do have a question about that. The, the protein and stuff that you, like the subscription, if you get that, does that go towards Diane's order tonight or is that something separate? I am 99% sure it does, but I will, am happy to check that out. It's a great question, but we just started this um, September 1st, so I will check into that, but I am almost positive it does go towards her party. Okay. Is awesome. there a vegetable seasoning or? There, any of our seasonings you can put in there. Do you mean the seasoning or like the protein stuff? No, no uh, seasoning. Oh goodness, there's a bunch of different seasonings. I mean, literally there's an entire couple pages or one page of all the different ones. Um, I'm always confused about what seasoning to put on what. <laughs> I have one called vegetable garden seasoning. So I'm like, oh, that goes on vegetables, okay. <laughs> no, I literally <laughs> put, I put any of our seasonings on any food, I truly do. The Southwestern seasoning, I put it on vegetables, I put it on meat, I put it on chicken, I put it in mayo and sour cream to make it a dip. Um, there's the bell pepper herb rub. I mean, there's literally, there's uh, an Italian. So there's, there's not one that you have to use with another. I will say that on, on each of the seasonings, they'll say it goes great with pork or grows great with whatever, but I just use them on whatever I want. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. I like the, uh, closing cut and the seasoning salt. Awesome. That's awesome. Ladies. Sherry, have you got one? I don't know if she's at her computer yet. She was listening, but she was she had to go and get more prep for her classes. I, I think she has classes tonight or something. Yeah. Well, Diane, how about you? What are you most excited about getting at 60% off? Well, I've already got a pressure cooker, but I will probably get that because mine is just not that good. Okay. That's awesome. You can't go wrong. It's not as fancy. Yeah, and Diane, do you want to tell them that we did about the gift certificate that we did for you? Well, Angela's here. Won't she tell us about? Oh, that's oh, that's this Angela. Yes. Yeah. 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 Angela. Uh, well, we celebrated our 11th anniversary on Saturday, and so Ricky surprised me with a gift certificate for a 10-inch stainless steel um, pan. So, yeah, yeah. awesome. Hey, I heard I was listening. Oh, that's my mom. There she is. <laughs> the anniversary. Oh, thanks. Uh, I, I'm supposed to say uh, what I like. Sure. Yeah. Let's hear it. Is that it? Yes, it was. I heard my name. Oh, um, uh, I, I actually I don't know if you showed it or not, but I'm like the brownie the squares yes. um the pan where you can make brownies and it's in squares do you know yes. what i'm talking yes. about oh absolutely I don't know the name of it it's called the brownie pan but here's the other cool thing is number one i don't do just brownies in there you can do little mini meat loops. you can do little mini egg omelet things in there there's so many different things you can do in there yeah and i'm going to do brownies yeah the <laughs> thing though is that you actually we just came out with a brownie bite pan you know the brownie bites the little tiny ones we just yeah brownie bite pan mm. even better more corners for me <laughs> so mm. well everybody give diane a big thank you and a big virtual hug for having so much on her plate but if she can do a party ladies all you ladies can do parties because uh, i'll tell you you're a trooper miss diane we love you I'm before the storm yes <laughs> but well, we're very thankful for you can you want me to do a drawing absolutely we'll let ricky do it so all right all right ricky's gonna do the drawing for us this person's gonna get a free season's best cookbook it says ricky campbell <laughs> Ricky, I think you might be lying and you shouldn't do that. Davey Walker. <laughs> Fantastic. All Yay, right, Debbie. I have got a cookbook with your name on it, all right? Lady, thank you, thank, Ricky. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to go ahead right now. Um, actually, 
I'll probably, Diane, I'll probably have you, I'll forward you a link to the, to order for the ordering. And if you can forward that to all the ladies, cause I don't know if everybody's in the Facebook group. Um, but ladies, uh, we have a specific link for Diane's party. Um, and I'm going to venture out to say that the sooner we can get our orders in ladies, the better. Um, we don't know what the next couple days look like for Diane and Ricky. And the last thing that she needs to be worried about is closing out a Pampered Chef party, quite frankly. Um, so if we can get our orders in in the next day or so, that would be fantastic. You'll go to this link. You'll be able to order online right there. My other suggestion is for an extra $2, the orders can be shipped directly to you. So Diane doesn't even have to touch them. And that will also be such a big help for her, especially in this season. Good news, starting October 1st, every order is shipped to the person no matter what. It's really cool. We're starting this whole new thing. So anyway, but for now, um, an extra two bucks, we'll get it shipped directly to you. And I think that'll be a blessing as well to her. So thank you, ladies, so much. Please reach out to me with any questions. Um, I hope y'all had fun tonight and uh, I would love to do parties. When you go to check out, the easiest way to let me know you'd like to have a party is there's a little box. Diane, do you have something, honey? You're telling yeah, some- I'd like like love them to have a party. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, we have one. Anybody, by the way, anybody that schedules their party in the next 24 hours, so basically, we'll say by tomorrow at 5 p.m. How about that? Anybody that texts me, and here's my number, I want you ladies to write this down. My phone number, and I'll put it in the chat, is 615-830-3340. So that's 615-830-3340. Enter. All right. If you'd like to have a party, and you want to do that and get it scheduled, we just get it on the books in the next 24 hours, your name will go in the drawing for a gift certificate, okay? So um, I look forward to it. But you ladies are awesome. Wow. Much love to everybody. And I'll look forward to seeing everyone again soon. Bye guys. Bye. Bye y'all. Bye. Bye. I'm trying.